Hey guys, and welcome back to my Outward series. This is episode number six. In the last one, we went to the Conflux Mountain and got mana, and then we killed this mad pirate that's just dead over here. Uh, and he had some kind of quest where we can go and find his lost treasure. Um, but in this episode, uh, I'm gonna be going to Berg, the first uh, extra area of the game. Or I guess I shouldn't say extra area, but like, big zone, one of the three main zones where you do factions, uh, faction storylines. So I'm gonna be doing that, and so we're gonna be, oh my god, I'm so slow. We're gonna be doing that, but we have to get back to town first and grab um, our money and some travel rations, because in order to travel to another zone in this game, you need to have travel rations. Um, so I guess you can sustain yourself while you're traveling a very long distance. Uh, that's just the way the game works. So we're gonna be doing that and god, you know what? Let me just chug a potion see if that helps uh, It does not help Still not good enough. What the heck is this? Okay, fine So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm I need to get back to Sierzo and we're gonna deposit all our stuff sell it You know get some money turn into gold bars since they're lighter and make our way to Berg. And then we're gonna start the first factions uh, quest that there is for the, I think it's a blue chamber with Risa. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, it's gonna take me a while to get back to town though because I am uh, pretty slow right now. So it kind of sucks, but yeah, I will, I'll see you back at the town. Okay, so I'm back at the town and I've rested up to full and I have five travel rations here, which I believe should be enough to get me there. I don't know if it's enough to get me back. I think it's three both ways. So if I want to come back here, I'd have to get travel rations at Berg, which isn't really that hard to do. It's pretty easy to get them. You can just buy them and stuff. Um, I'm going to need to bring some money. So I need to convert this silver into gold bars. And then we'll probably bring a couple things of food. Well, actually, it's probably gonna spoil. Yeah, cause like when you when you travel to another area, it takes a couple days of time, and so all this stuff will probably go bad. I don't know. Maybe I just leave it here and I find food elsewhere. Or, or no, I'll take the I'll take jerky. Jerky lasts a very long time. I might need to make some more of that at some point, but. I'll take the jerky, we got water, we got some rations, um, and our money. I don't believe in anything else. Oh, I actually need to sell this sword for money. So we'll go do that, and then we're gonna go and head out towards Berg. Which is gonna be another long walk, but, you know, I'll be there within, you know, a certain amount of time. You guys won't see all the running I have to do, but it's definitely a lot of running in this game, but hey, whatever. Wait, this only sells for four, it wasn't even worth picking up. All right, well, give me a, your gold bar at least, that'll be fine. Um, maybe I should learn some of these teas. Yeah, you know what? We should probably get the recipes for these because teas are very, very useful. Okay, so let me... Oh, that's right, I don't have freaking silver. I gotta do this. Okay. Fine. Perfect. So we're going to definitely want to make tea at some point because it is extremely useful to have at all times. But now I'm going to head out and we're going to go to Berg. All right, so here is the gate to the Enmerkar forest. Every time you're going to go to a new zone, there's going to be a gate that looks just like this. And once you go through the little archway here, you just have to pay like three travel rations and you can go. So here we go. Yeah, so I need three. So Enmerkar Forest, ancient forest of giant trees with vicious arcane monsters prowling about. So let's go check it out. We are traveling towards Berg now. How exciting. A new area, finally. And it's not going to be as cold either, which is my favorite part. I don't have to wear this stupid like fur gear. Here we go. So right now I can actually equip my good armor that I would like to wear. And now I'm still able to wear without being cold. How wonderful. So where are we on the map? So we are on this side here. 
And you can also come from this side over here, depending on where you are going. So we have to go southeast, and Berg is this right here. Um, that's where we're going to be heading. I am I mean, I don't know if I'm really going to check out any of these points of interest right now. I just really want to get my main story started, so it'll direct me where to go, and I can get some other stuff done while uh, doing the main story. But yeah, this is the new zone. It's just like a big-ass forest. It's pretty cool. Kind of like if you go to the Redwood Forest in California. That's uh, it's kind of the vibe I get. Um, especially once you get some other places, there's a lot of trees everywhere. But there's also going to be new enemies, so there's one over there. That, I, I think... Actually, is that just one of those ghosts? I think it's just one of those ghosts from the Ghost Pass just walking around. I don't really want to be near him. He's... It's kind of awful to fight without that varnish or whatever I had to use. But yeah, I'm going to be here for a good while doing some stuff. Uh, so I guess get used to it. Pretty nice. Alright, well I guess I'll just check out this tower. Since it's just right here, I might as well. Uh, the game's going to let me up there. One second, I think I can roll up there. If I, if I can just get to the right spot to roll, I think it'll let me go up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, you can roll up those steep cliffs if you get the right spot. Oh, okay, there's just more ghosts. I can probably kill these purple ones pretty fast. Let's just see. I want to know what's over here. Might be like treasure. Oh, wait, do I even have to fight them? Oh, Dolmen Crypt. Okay, this is just like a dungeon. Um, right, Let's come back to this later then. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to find. But I don't really want to do a dungeon right now. I just want to go to Berg. I was just hoping there'd be like a little treasure in there or something. Kind of like how there's a little treasure over here. I'm going to go get that really quick. Okay, got some bandages. Nice. Uh, I don't really need any of that other stuff. And... Alright, let's move forward. Oh, it looks like they put Stonehenge in this game. It's just some random little rock formations here. I wonder how this was made. How did they do it? Oh wait, there's a treasure. Right on. Scavenger mask, tattered hood, stringy salad. I'll just take all this, because if I'm just going to go to Berg, I can sell all this crap. So that's pretty nice. Oh, you know what else is really good about Berg? Is that uh, they should have better backpacks. And I really need a better backpack, because this one's uh, not sufficient for my needs anymore with all the stuff that I have to carry. My armor and such. Oh wait, what is that? There's like a thing walking over there. It's got a big ass weapon. So, oh, I think that's a giant. Hmm. Do I fight it or do I not? Let me just get this. What is this? Smoke root? Okay, I'll take that. I might be able to kill him. I don't think he's that hard to kill compared to what I've already been fighting. But I don't really want to get hit by him either, because he probably hits pretty hard. There's some bandits over there. Ooh, you know what? That guy with the shield, those I'm pretty sure those shields sell for like 60 silver. I kind of want to kill them. But if we're going to kill them, we need to get rid of that mage, because I'm not dealing with that stupid mage. I hate them. Hopefully we can uh, kill him really quick before he has his buddy help him. Oh, okay, he's already found me. All right. Oh my god, roll. Oh my god. Kick. Okay, yeah, get out of here, buddy. I did take a lot of damage there. Just not the best. Uh, but that stupid guy kept slapping me when I was trying to hit the mage. Sucks. He slows down my animations or something. And now I am slowed because the ice hit me. But I will just eat some jerky. Where's the jerky? Yeah, give me some of that normal jerky. And I guess I'll eat a berry so I can get some stamina back. Because that would be a smart thing to do. But I'm going to loot this guy. He should have maybe like a firestone. Uh... 
Mana restoring properties. Okay, here's a question. I am have like half my mana burned. If I eat this, does it give me my mana back? No. It just gives me mana regen. Okay, fine. Here we go. Wait, round shield. Is that... Maybe that's not what I thought it was. I thought these guys had... Maybe this is, there's like steel shields or something that you can get. And they sell for a lot and these bandits will have them and they're like really farmable. And I like to kill them over and over so I can sell all their stuff. But I guess that's not it, so we'll just move on. I think the city is actually right over there in the distance, if I'm not mistaken. I think I'm close to the docks now, which is right next to where the, uh, the town is. Looks like there's some more bandits here. And I don't know if I really want to fight them right now, because I don't think they're really worth anything to me. I like the music. It's really nice. Feels very fitting to this area. I think this is the abandoned docks here. I'm gonna go check it out to see if there's any treasure really quick before I head into the town. Probably like bandits or something in here, but we're gonna see. Okay. Doesn't look like there's really anything so far. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, I'll take that. More bandages, why not? I thought there would be like an actual big chest in there, but I, that's fine. Alright, here is the entrance to Berg. It looks kind of like a giant fort. These walls. A lot bigger than Sierra's though, a lot more... Uh, more like a big city, you know. And here we are, so... This guy is actually a trainer, right here, a hunting trainer. What can I do for you? And this is usually like bow skills, but you can also get uh, melee stuff as well. I don't know if I'm going to be going this or not. Um, the extra health is really nice, and these abilities are really strong, but I don't know if I want to actually do that for this build or not. We'll see. So according to my journal, I actually have a quest here to talk to the general store person in Berg, and that's going to be... I think I have to go back to Sierra so at some point if I do that. Um, the main story, we are going to talk to Risa. And I th she is... Where am I? I am... Okay, I just need to go up here to the east. And she'll be over here, I think, standing next to, like, a fountain or something. Are you the general store guy? No, you're the alchemist. Who's the general store person around here? Chef... Are you general store shopkeeper? I, I think so. You? You've earned this. Oh, nice. He just gave me a ruby. I mean, How just sell I that you? then. I don't know why he didn't just give me money. Oh, shoot. Look at this. Okay. Prospector backpack. That's only 100. I could buy that right now. Okay. 75 carry weight. I am definitely going to buy that right now because we need a better bag. And the cool thing with this bag is that, where is it? It has a thing above it. When you equip a lantern in your bag, it will, um, it'll hang off there. So then you get a better light source around you instead of it being obscured by your body. It's kind of a neat little, uh, thing that they do. It's like more realistic, How I guess. I help you? So we don't need our old bag anymore. We can sell that. So let's do that. That's nice. So now we have 75 carry capacity, which is so, so nice. Oh my god, I needed that. But let's talk to Risa. Wonderful news. I'm thinking about it. Is there anything I need to do to make it happen? You should seek approval from another old family. Here's what I need you to do. Sagard Battleborn wields an, wields an especially large degree of power. Introduce yourself to them. Small favor. Okay. Okay. So we need to talk to a small task for Sagar, Julius, or Ga Gabriella. Well, Gabriella is just like right over here. Might as well just go do something from her. It's the, the quickest, shortest distance. Ah, you must be the scout that Risa mentioned. 
Show me that you can make a fang weapon from the remains of your enemies. Oh wow, I wish I still had that other one. Can I get a different quest maybe? Who is Sagar down here? Maybe there's one that's easier to do because making a fang one is gonna be a little annoying. I have to get like predator bones again and get an iron weapon. Well, this guy looks really cool. What's with this body? What can I do for you? Hansen reaches the rank of disciple on the holy mission. Wow. Training. Mace infusion. Uh, we don't need that. We're not using a mace. Let's talk to the blacksmith really quick. Need something? Okay, so you can get two new armor sets here. Uh, copal armor and petrified wood. Hey there. And then for armor, okay, here we go. So you can get runic boots, which would actually not be that bad because I would be using mana for the spell blades. So we could get the runic boots. The elite plate boots are actually a little bit more durable, but also they don't make you use as much stamina. Runic armor. Uh, stamina cost goes way up with this stuff. I'm not sure if I really want it. I might be worth using though. Let's see, runic helm, where is that? Okay. So if I get this full set of runic armor at some point, then that would probably be like one of the best sets I could use right now. Just considering that uh, I would be using mana and I wouldn't have to deal with the negative mana cost of having like a, a normal play helmet. Because wearing this, it gives me a mana cost of plus 20%, which sucks. I'm still looking for that Sagard guy. So I'm trying to see what his mission is. Oh, he's just right here. Hmm. You must be the one Risa wants to adopt into her bloodline. Hmm. I'm Sagard Battleborn, the Chamber Lord of Burn. Half the runs I have to work with don't even know how to craft a simple fire rag. Okay. What does he train me in? Two ended axe, alright. So he just gives me a fire rag recipe. How do I do that? Oh, it's just literally oil and linen cloth, okay. My problem is I didn't bring any oil with me, that kind of sucks. This is the last one I can try to do something for, Julius, who is Julius? All right, Julius, what do you what want? What can I do for you? Show me that you become a mage. Connect me with the power of magic, you oh. Know how to unlock your I've already done that, nice, it's easy. <laughs> Not bad. Sutherlands will approve of your adoption. Welcome, Big Mickey Aberdeen. <laughs> Big Mickey Aberdeen. Here, now get off my back. I appreciate this recipe quite a bit. Save my skin more than once. He just gave me a robe. That's kind of cool. But he said he gave me a recipe, and I don't see a recipe anywhere. So I don't. I don't know if they just mess up the dialogue there or what. But whatever. Um, okay, I talk to Risa again and I can commit to the Berg faction. Alright, Risa, here we go. I'm glad to see you. Pleasure to work with me, I will begin the steps needed to adopt you. Alright. Will you pledge yourself to the continued survival of the Blue Chamber Collective? Yes, I commit myself to the well being of the collective. What do you need? This is a turning point in my life. Am I certain I wish to pledge myself? Yeah, let me commit. Here's what you need to know. The other chamber lords are on their way here for a council meeting. Two major issues are at stake, both of which could cause a major impact on relations with Sirocco and Aberstar regions. It's too big of an event to go smoothly. This is troubling. Not sure what or how bad it will be, but I'm convinced beyond all doubt that something huge will happen. Something that could jeopardize the entire collective if we aren't ready for it. Wow, nice foreshadowing. It will be a few days before they all arrive, however. Take the time you need to get used to life here, and don't forget Sierra Zoe is your home. Here is the newest member of the Aberdeen family. You should have this. It's the key to Sierra Zoe. It should open any lock in the town. So the small ba basement vault in our family home. Cool. Thanks, mother. I can call her that now because I am officially part of her bloodline. So they just gave me, she just gave me this key to Sierzo and maybe some other stuff, but I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know what it was. That's kind of unfortunate for me, isn't it? Yeah, so the way these faction things are is like, 
you you do something and then you have to wait three in-game days and then you get another task. So you can kind of speed run this if you just spend all your time sleeping in like the inn or something, you know. But that's not very fun. So what we need to do now is figure out how to progress here. I think the first order of business is just to go out and explore. And we need to do that. I mean, we can go to... Hmm. We have the Sierzo key, but I don't really want to go back just yet. If anything, I'd like to save up enough money here, because I'm sure I can make more money here than in Sierzo. Maybe get some good loot, because there's better stuff here. Because I need to get 600 silver to be able to get the Spellblade, like, infusion that I want. So I think the next order of business is just to go around and check out some of the areas and try to save up some money, get some better loot and all that. Just go exploring for fun. Ooh, this Roby gave me a sales for 53 silver. I'll take that. Yeah, nice. That is pretty good. Oh, well, it's actually a little cold out here. Let's try, uh, let's try a different hat. No, it's not good enough. What about the boots? No, I guess I have to wear this chest piece. It's fine, though, because now that I have a bigger bag, it doesn't really slow me down anymore. I don't have to really think about it, so that's nice. Uh, the first order of business, where do we go? Well, there's the docks. I already checked that out. Ruined settlement. Maybe we'll go check out the ruined settlement, just because that's like one of the closest points of interest. Although I do see if I go across this bridge, there are bandits over there, so I'm going to have to take care of them if I actually want to, you know, get by them. I mean, maybe I can sneak past them, we'll see. But they could also be giving me some money by killing them, so... Let's just see if we can kill him. 3v1 isn't really the best odds for me, but, you know, what can you do? Let's get some of that jerky going and get some stamina. We're going to need it. God, who do I focus first? The thing is, I'm not even wearing my full armor. I have to use this fur thing so I don't get too cold. So maybe if we can just, like, separate one of them, if that's even the thing. Let's see if I can get this guy. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, alright. He's already almost dead. These guys are not very strong at all. Let's just get, get some stamina back. Oh god. Okay. All right. I need, to, I need to stop being so reckless. I'm just going to do this. There we go. I was just one-on-one -on -one with this stupid guy. And I just got to regen some stamina. He's dead. Should be an easy battle. Okay, well, I didn't take that much damage. So it was fine. They were pretty weak. They definitely didn't play the best that I should have. But, you know, 3v1, you can only do so much right now. I don't have, like, that many skills. Ooh, mushroom bar, ration. I'll take all this iron shit and just sell it, because I'm gonna need all of it. All of this is useful, even though it doesn't sell for very much. It's better than nothing. Let's throw this in the bag. Yeah, see, I can carry so much more stuff now. This is so good. Give me that mushroom bar, though, because I need to regen some of my burnt health. And, okay, so let's go to that settlement now, which is just a bit south. Check this treasure first, see what's in there. And we got... Oh, I can't open it, I guess. Here we go, let's try it now. More bandages. Can never have too many of those, I guess. What does the sign say? Oh, it's just telling me where the cities are. Um... Where would that even be? I guess as I just keep going south, uh, I want to say it's to the south over here. So let's just go this way. There's multiple of these ruined settlements on the map, which makes me think it's just like I've already passed it. Um, it might have been just that rubble or whatever that I saw. So that it's kind of disappointing. I was hoping there would be something cool there, but oh well. I, I mean, we're going this way anyway. Let's just see what's over here. 
I'm not quite sure where the heck I'm going on the map anymore. So there's a giant burning tree in the distance. I'm gonna go check that out after I- Oh, wait, there's some more bandits. Okay. Can I fight them? Hmm. It's still pretty cold, isn't it? I, I really want to use my better armor. How cold am I gonna be? I don't know. I really just want to kill them fast if I can. Let's just see if I can get this archer. Okay. Okay, I got one like right off the bat. Kick him. Yeah, this other guy's being really aggressive, so maybe we can kill him. Oh yeah, literally like three hit him there. Well, these guys are so weak compared to me. I can't even do anything. He's like hyper aggressive against them, he can't do shit. I'm out of stam already, fuck. Alright, well, they're dead. That was simple. Okay. At least I know these bandits are like pushovers now. Oh, and it's actually warmer out, so I don't even have to put my other stuff back on. Perfect. Ground shield, mace, bandit. Ooh, padded helm, torch. Alright, yeah, let's just take all this crap. It will all come in handy when I need to sell stuff later. In this, can I not loot this? It's bugged. Oh, it's one of these again. Sure, I'll take those just to sell them. Yeah, give me all that. Actually, I guess you can't sell arrows. I might as well just drop these. I never use them. Oh yeah, I guess I do have a lot of stuff now, huh? I don't know what point I'm gonna go back. I mean, I can just drop some of this crap because I know it doesn't sell for that much. If I find something more valuable, I'll just drop whatever I have to to get it. No biggie. All right, here's a giant burning tree right here. I don't know if there's anything I can do with it if I get up close to it. I wonder if it like damages me or something. No, it actually even lets me get wood from it. That's kind of weird. Some kind of like flame guy right here. I wonder if he can, uh, if he can kill me or not. It's this tree stump got. Ooh, Master Trader Garb, nice. We will definitely take that. Well, I'm gonna need to drop some of this crap, so we're just gonna, just gonna drop some of it so I weigh less. It's supposed to be a bandit camp over here too, and I think this is what it is. So maybe there's just like flame guys and bandits to kill. So this isn't really that impressive of a camp. There's not very much here, it seems. Oh, the fire guy sees me. I wonder how strong he is. Oh, what the hell? Okay, he just shot like flames at me. All right, I'm gonna kill him though. Oh wow, he is really weak. That's good, cause uh, I didn't want to get hit by those flames. That would've sucked. Let's see, burning man. Obs Ooh, obsidian shard and oil. That's kind of cool. I think obsidian shards are like a rare material that you need, so I'll take that for sure. Oh, look at that over there. There's like a... The fuck is that? It's like a burning deer. Or like a golem or something. Alright, well, it's by itself. Can we kill it? That is what I want to know. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, wait, it's a boss. It has the boss music. Die. Whatever you are. Jeez, does it shoot fire? Oh yeah, it does. Oh god. Ow, ow god, ow. This, can I get rid of this burning? Oh my god, this is a bad move. I'm, uh, I'm dead, I think. Oh god. <laughs> Guess I should have seen that coming. I didn't know his missiles would just be like heat seeking. Oh wait, where am I? Face of the Ancients, what is this? All right, well, I guess that was a boss. That sucks. The smell of your own sizzling flesh wakes you in agonizing pain. Burning men walk nearby, almost oblivious to your presence. You don't know why they've taken you prisoner, but given that they try to set you on fire, you clearly don't want to find out. Where am I? Just like in this cave. Take that. 
I actually don't want the harp. Actually, I can get rid of my old harpoon because it's like damaged or something. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't know if I want to be in here. I don't even know where the heck I am anymore. Face of the Ancients. Let's if I go in here. And these guys are, uh, they're kind of freaky. Okay, equip the backpack. Oh, we got a Firestone, nice, that's perfect. Let's drop some of this garbage. Oh, it's starting to get really hot in here already. I don't know if I can even do this. I think I'm just gonna start burning. Okay, well, let's just get out then. I don't wanna be in here. Oh, wait, there's just like a vendor or something? What is this? Researcher boy. What now? Ooh, a capable explorer. Might I hire you for something? I've heard of a blood red idol hidden in this place. I'll pay you 300 silver if you bring Up it to me. You. Okay. So, if I do that, I guess I can get 300 silver. That's a pretty good amount. It's just that I don't know how to- I can't resist the heat right now. I don't have any equipment for that. Oh, wow, that is- that is really weird. Just a bunch of faces and hands coming out of the mountain. Where am I? Is there, like, a- uh... Wait, there's, like, a face. Oh wait, it put me all the way up here. So I died like all the way down here and then they spawned me up there. That's quite a bit of a ways to go, but fine, I'll take it. There's those dead alien things again that we saw at the vigil pylon a while ago. What is that over there? Those enemies? Wait, are those, what the hell is that? Oh, I guess I should actually put on, like, a bandage or something. Get my health going. Is that, like, a... That looks like a nice-looking bandit. Maybe he's got some nice loot for me when I kill him. Oh, wait. Wow, he did not even... Take, like... He, oh, he's, like, fully armored. Holy shit. What's even easy... What's easier to kill? This guy or the other one? Okay, wow, I really wish I had some stamina regen now. This is not not good for me. Stupid hyena. Let's get some stamina and let my shield bash do the work when I get the chance. How strong is this thing? Can I just like run right up to it? Oh wow. Yeah, I can just kill him really fast. I just need to get rid of one so I can fight the other by itself. Oh wow, I'm almost dead. Shit. Uh, this is not good for me. I might be dead again. I can't even like heal either because he's just gonna like... So if I just run really far away, is he gonna come after me? I just need to get far enough away to drink a pot. Let's see, let's go really far. Uh, drink a pot. Perfect. I use a lot of stamina for that, but I guess that's fine. Oh, there's a, like, deer over there. What the fuck? He's not doing anything, so I'll just sit here and wait for stamina. Alright, buddy, come on. Kick. Oh, wow. Okay, he's almost dead, but this guy is pretty tanky. It's kind of like that tower shield guy, but maybe a little bit... I think he might, he might be easier, I don't know. Hard to say. Not like a boss or anything, but the music's different. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Oh, Bandit Manhunter. I don't even know if I've seen that before. I wonder if that's because I have the DLCs. I wonder if they added like a new guy. Well, I definitely want to see what he has on him because... That sounds pretty cool. They might have some good loot. Let's mine this iron. Oh, I got a ruby. Nice. This guy's got meat. Alright, I guess I'll take that stuff. That's fine. 
The real prize is this Manhunter guy. I really want to see what he's got. Ooh, Brigand Coat. I guess that's not really... It doesn't have to offer the protection that my half plate does. But I will still take it, because I imagine it sells for a good amount, as does the bow. Two pots and some silver. That's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure these deer give you alpha meat when you kill them. These, like, red deer. Let's see. Come on, buddy, fight me. Kick him. Oh, he's a bit tankier. Oh my god, I'm just wrecking you. Oh, wow. Can't run. Oh shit, I think he's gonna start running. Slap, slap, slap. Alright. Alpha Coral Horn. Yep, there we go. And I think you need their horns to make certain things. And you can make like a really good bow with it or something. Check this out. Oh yeah, alpha meat, coral horn, antler, and hide. Perfect. That's what we want. Well, since I'm over here on this side, I might I might go check out this vigil pylon. See if there's anything good in there. Because of the last one in the other area, there was a nice chest at the end. So there could be a nice chest at the end of this one too. And I could get some like better weapons or something, you know? Because I've had this axe for a while. I could use something a little bit better, a little bit stronger. Ooh. Fungal Cleanser, Ghost Eye. Oh, there's just like a bandit over there. What the hell? I didn't even see him. Salt and a mask. I think those masks might sell for a decent amount. And I'll take that. We'll even eat the bar right now to get some more health back or max health back. Can never go wrong with those dry mushroom bars, man. They are the best. Okay, here is the Vigil Pylon. Looks like I have to go up these steps to get to it, so let's go check that out. Looks like there's some kind of uh, robot or something up here. Let's fight it. Should I, need my, should I eat my berries first? That way I don't have the stamina problem. Where's my berries? Let me eat that. Delicious. Okay, let's fight this, this robot now. Kind of reminds me of those robots at the other vigil pile on, but this one looks a bit, uh, a little bit worse. Wait, no. Wait, these guys suck. There he goes. Yeah, he doesn't even do that much damage. So, that's fine. Does he have any good loot, though, is the real question. Crystal powder. Palladium spike. Alright, I'll take the powder. That stuff's pretty good. What does this tree stump have? Bullets. Okay, I don't need bullets. Alright, let's check this out, man. This looks a lot different than the other one. It's not like a thing I can climb up to the top of. Must be some kind of dungeon. It's like a grand staircase to this like little dungeon up here, this little door. Maybe there's like a boss inside I can kill. Vigil. Nice name, nice and sweet. Wait, there's just nothing in here? Is this a chest? Wait, so I hear stuff moving. Ooh, a flintlock pistol, crab eye seed, smoke root, silver. Oh, nice. I could use a pistol if I really wanted to. Check that out. Oh, it's like an offhand weapon. Yeah, I have a gun. But I'm not going to use it. But I still have a gun, which is cool. Is there like a way to... Get down there? What is this? Interact. Oh, what the fuck? That's, uh... Okay. I guess I should have expected that. Oh, wait, this guy sucks. Get him out of here. Alright. Oh my god, stop hitting me. I'm on fucking fire again? God damn it. Oh, god. Fire hurts so bad, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do to not die to it. Oh, I just died. Okay. Yeah, god, man, this fire is the worst. I need, like, fire resist or something. It just destroys me. Like, it burns you so much over time after hitting you, too. It's ridiculous. Fire sucks. Oh, hey, look, some guy left me a, uh... A campfire and stuff for reviving me. Cool. Gep's note. 
And this drink, what does this drink do? Let me see what that does, where is that? Wait, where is it? Oh, so there's a moderate amount of health, stamina, and mana. All right, I'll chug it, why not? Thank you, Gep. Hey, you were in trouble and I gave you a hand. I can't stay to watch over you, but I tried to make sure you were comfortable first. Have a flask of my own personal brew on me. You owe me one, pal. Who the hell is Gep? I don't know. But, uh, looks like I died again. It's a very unfortunate circumstance indeed. So, I don't know where I'm even at anymore. It's another deer. There's some bandits. It's like a good landmark to look for. I can't figure out where I'm at at all. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe we need to uh, sell some of that stuff, get some money. Maybe I can buy some of that armor because uh, I'm getting, like, fucked up. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be attacking so aggressively, but, like, I really don't have a choice sometimes, you know? Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to kill anything. But, to be fair, I was missing a lot of my max health and stam. Oh, okay, so there's the burning tree. So that means we're all the way down here again. So we need to just go up north, and that's going to lead us to the town. So I'll just go back to the town and sell some stuff. Ooh, a rich iron vein. It's got some iron scraps and two beetles. That is pretty nice. I'm a fan of that. All right, let's sell some of this stuff. So there's a pistol, bow, masks. Uh, Brigand code actually sells for a good amount. Ooh, Master Trader Garb sells for 126. That is pretty freaking good. I will take that. And a ruby. So I'll sell these bones. I don't really need them. Okay, so we just got 383 silver. Ooh, we are at, we are very close to being able to buy the spell blade thing. I actually might go back now um, and sell. Like, if I just get a couple more silver, I can do it. Sell some of this stuff, maybe. Cause we already have a ton of it back at the old base. Well, since we don't have a bed anymore or a house, we have to sleep on the streets in a tent, like some kind of vagrant. So let's just do that. Thankfully, it's a safe area, so I can do it without having to worry about being attacked, but we need to sleep a lot and repair. House seller Karen. Pay attention. Oh, wait, I can buy a house. How can I help you? Interested in this house, yes. Wait, I can just pay 500 silver right now and get a house. Is that worth it? Or is it better to get the spell blade first? Because having a house would be nice to have my own stash here again. I could transport all my old stuff from Sierzo to here. Plus I would have a lot of extra stuff because these houses that you buy actually have a lot of nice stuff like alchemy t kits and stuff like built into it. Now let's just do it. What do you take me for? Oh, right, I need to change my gold bars over. It's just weird that you can't pay with gold bars, like you have to go to a vendor and then buy, or I mean sell the stupid things for silver, and then you can do it. It just seems like you should be able to just pay in gold, it makes no sense why you can't. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get this house, set up our new base. Pay attention, how can I help you? All right. Welcome to your new nice. home. Nice. Thanks, Karen. Player house. So here we go. This is my new house in Berg. They left me some free stuff here. Ooh, Breath of the Wild. Nice. Or Bread of the Wild. I'm <laughs> just thinking of Zelda now. This should give you a couple recipes. I think I have these ones already, though. Yeah, all right. Well, we can just drop those then. We don't need them. But it comes with your own kitchen, um, some free stuff here, your stash. And there should be a way to do alchemy, like, uh, here we go, alchemy kit. Let's see what's up here. Got, it looks like a bow, some spikes and traps and stuff. 
And then I guess some of these random mannequins you can't do anything with. All right, so how nice. So actually, if you sleep on a bed, I think it heals your hunger, right? Yeah. Sweet. If I sleep here for an hour, I think I can get that bonus for sleeping here. Uh, let's see what the bonus is. Stamina cost of actions minus 20%. Ethereal resistance plus 10. Nice. So that's nice. Uh, that's helpful. I mean, I already got, I think, some ethereal resist. Yeah, these blue sand boots. That's another thing. I had never completed the blue sand set. Maybe I should go back and do that. I'm not sure. I'm going to call it here. Uh, I didn't really, I guess, accomplish too much. I mean, I did make it to Berg and I did buy a house. That's something. But I didn't really complete anything. I ended up dying twice. But that's what happens when you go to a new area. I mean, you just end up getting your ass kicked at first because everything's a lot stronger but anyways i hope you liked the video uh, and if you did you can like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys next week